Cheers, guys. So I found this amazing website. It's called RPG Prompts, and it's a very simple but very powerful website. And what it does, it gives you amazing prompts to play your favorite games in ChatGPT. So we're going to leverage those prompts to the next level. And I decided to go with the Dungeons and Dragons ChatGPT prompt. What what we can do is very simple. We can just copy this prompt, and I will do this right now text copy to the clipboard and now we we have this prompt that we can put into our app where we can we say that the ai is not an ai model and now it is a dungeon master or dungeons and dragons fifth edition any random campaign book it will choose just any random one and it gives us a character called sabrina and also adds a funny pet it has to be creative and then there's all of those additional rules in there with NPC interaction and stuff like this. So we just copy pasted this and it's all in here now. And I'm just going to run this template. You stand in front of a shimmering portal in the heart of the Whimsy Woods, surrounded by towering trees that seem to lean in as if curious about your next move. The air is filled with the sweet scent of blooming wildflowers. Sabrina gazes at the portal with a mix of wonder and caution. Your funny fantasy pet, a wise-cracking, shape-shifting familiar, looks up at you with an inquisitive expression. We are thrown again right into action, and there's a portal which we can probably enter, I suppose. And as we are a mage, we should definitely enter the portal. So enter the portal to the other side. As you step through the portal, you find yourself in a vast, crystal-filled cavern. The air is filled with a sweet musical hum, and the walls are lined with strange glowing orbs. A faint, pulsing light emanates from the machinery scattered throughout the room. You sense that this realm is full of ancient secrets and mysteries waiting to be uncovered. All right, so apparently we are in a crystal-filled cavern. You always like to see this. And our shape-shifting cat is now a cat. That's... I hope that she's useful to us. Sabrina is ready to dive into this adventure. We investigate the machinery. I think that's the most, most interesting in this room. As you examine the machinery, you begin to notice intricate symbols etched into the crystals. The pulsing energy orbs seem to be connected to the gears, and you wonder if this is some kind of ancient technology or magical device. Well, crazy that we found the portal that led us to this machine. Um, we need to find out, I think, what this machinery is all about and maybe get some of its energy to empower us try to decipher the symbols on the crystals. I mean, we could also put in our own input here, but I think those are sometimes so interesting that I really want to know what's behind this. Sorry about that. As you decipher the symbols, you start to understand the machinery's purpose. It seems to be a device for harnessing and amplifying magical energy. The pulsing orbs are the key to unlocking its true potential. So it has some kind of openings where we can maybe put those orbs in. Uh, yeah, Sabrina, she looks like she knows what she's doing, right? And I really like the image style, by the way. It has a real Dungeons and Dragons flavor to it. I think we should do what we want to do. Put the orbs into the matching openings of the machinery. As the orbs click into place, the machinery roars to life, filling the cavern with an intense, magical energy. The crystals on the walls begin to resonate and the cavern starts to shake. Suddenly, a hidden door slides open, revealing a narrow corridor. Well, I like it. I like that there's a new hidden corridor that we opened. Awesome. Somehow this energy opened hidden mechanic to a new place. And I'm very curious what it holds for us. So enter. You step into the corridor, the air thick with magical energy. The walls are adorned with ancient runes, pulsing with a soft blue light. The air is heavy with the scent of old parchment and forgotten knowledge. Wow, okay, so from one crazy spot to the next, there's so much to learn and to grasp in, inside of this new dungeon that we entered. I'm very curious on how we will progress the story and I hope that you tune in next time because this time it's going to be a part two of this and I'm just going to continue and play a bit and let's see where we can take Sabrina and her flimsy pet. See you all in the next video.